Hi YouTube, in this video we're gonna create a multilingual blog on Webflow in under 10 minutes. Yes, you heard that right, it's that simple to do on Webflow. Now we're gonna use some untitled UI components to build our components on the website and uh, big thanks to Untitled UI for an amazing library that's completely free that you can use and I'm gonna walk you through how you can set it up and use it on your project. So. Let's get to it. All right, so we have a blank project here that we're gonna start with. First, I'm gonna add untitled UI library. So if I go to layouts, browse more libraries, you can see a lot of cool libraries that are both paid and free. I'm gonna get the untitled UI, I'm gonna install this library, and then I get to choose which workspace I get to install it on. So I want yours workspace, and then I want it on this multilingual blog project. Now if I go back to my project and I refresh, I can see this library uh, installed. So if I go to the add panel, layouts, you can see the untitled UI is right there. And now I can search through it. So I'm gonna search for blog and I'm gonna get this first one here. Now they have a lot of nice templates. You can look through it. And um, in our case, we're just gonna use this one. Now I wanna get some items to populate this with. So if I go to CMS and I create a new collection, now I wanna create two collections. The first one is categories. And if I click on categories, it just pre-populates some custom fields that are default for a category. So we're gonna create this collection. And uh, there's this new feature that Webflow released, which generates sample items. So let's generate some sample items. Now this is a AI tool, so it's gonna be interesting to see how this advances more. So headphones, I'm gonna do a headphones brand. This is the idea of this uh, blog. So categories for a headphones brand blog. Let's generate five items. Now while this is generating, I can create another collection and this is gonna be my blog post collection. And here I can add a new field that links a reference. So this will be referencing my categories, which is that collection that I just created. And I can, if I click here, the source will be categories. So this is now connected to that collection. So I'm gonna create collection. I'm gonna also generate some sample items, headphones, brand, blog, articles. And we're gonna generate. Now, if we go back to our categories, go here, we see that uh, it's pre-populated with uh, names that are headphones related, over ear headphones, in your headphones, wireless headphones. And if we go to our blog post, now we wait for this to populate. It's populated, so you see best headphones of 2023, wireless versus wired headphones, headphones maintenance tips, uh, 2023, I think this one is 2023 programmed. But nonetheless, these are placeholder items. If you're enjoying this type of content, subscribe to the channel. There's a lot more in store for you. Now let's get back to it. So we go back to our blog. Now I want to connect this to this collection that we just created. I'm going to go to the parent element and I'm going to add a collection list here. I'm going to copy the same style so that this collection list looks the same as the one from the template. So I'm going to copy this wrapper style, add it to my collection wrapper and this list add it to my collection list. And then this item, first I'll need to connect this to a source. So I'm gonna connect this collection to my blog posts. I'm gonna copy this item, I'm gonna add it here, but uh, I want this class actually to be the collection item. So I'm gonna copy this class, I'm gonna add it here in the collection item, and then I'm gonna unwrap this div so the elements are populated inside. I'll go to the list and I'm gonna set this to grid because here it's a grid. And then now I can delete the template. Now I have this pulling from the CMS. I'm gonna delete this part. And now I'm gonna start connecting this elements to the information on my collection, on my CMS. So to do that, I can click on this gear icon here and I can like click on this purple dot and I connect this to thumbnail image. I can do the same with the name and now I can do this on any of these items and they copy the same style everywhere. So if I change this to name, see all of them get the name of the article. Uh, this will be category name. And uh, finally, we'll get this to be the post summary. Now we can also get this link. So if we go to this link block here, uh, we can connect this to the current blog post. I think we have another link here on the image and we can connect this to current blog post. So now when I preview and I click on this, it goes to the post page. Now let's build this page. So we go to Untitled UI again, we go to blog post, 
and let's choose this one again we're gonna have to connect it i'm gonna remove this part i'm gonna connect things here name this one will be category name and this i can do this from here as well if i go to the settings panel i can see them here and i can connect them from here so this will be main image and uh, this rich text element here will be post body and uh, we'll delete everything here all right so now let's translate first let's, let's um, add this all posts to be going to the home page and uh, yeah so now let's translate this now to translate this i'll need to add a new locale so if we go to settings localization we can add a new locale and let's say we want to do this in spanish so you can add the image of like the spanish flag or a spanish icon something uh, you can name the subdirectory now in our case we want it to be es that's the default one and then we're going to save changes now i can see it created this drop down for me and if i go to this drop down i can see spanish if i click on it i go to my spanish locale now let's go to the home page and uh, let's translate everything here so if i click on the right click and translate to spanish it translates all the elements that are on this page now for the CMS items, we can go to CMS and go to blog post, and then we can click on the blog post. We can translate each field separately, or we can translate all fields. And in this case, it translates everything to Spanish. We can, of course, revise and see if this is the correct translation. If we want to change something, uh, we can always do that. We can save changes, we can translate all of them. and that's five of them and we can do the same for the categories also you can go in and translate the fields and uh, that will do it for you but we will not do that for all the categories now so if we go now to the english locale we click preview mode you can see that we have the blog post all the blog posts in english and in spanish uh, we can click on any of them we can go to the relevant one so this is the Spanish version, this is the English version of it. That's basically it. Uh, now we did this in under 10 minutes. So I hope we see you in the next one. Perhaps we'll make an episode on how to filter through. So we'll set up a proper filtering system on this blog. This will be using uh, a third party tool from FinSuite called the FinSuite Attributes. Uh, we'll perhaps make another episode on that. So stay tuned on this 100 days journey. See you in the next one.